so we're at the beginning of October now and uh, we're at Hatava or we're in Hatava it's a big city one of the biggest in Spain and uh, it's about a year since I last came here I wanted to go to the castle today but uh, the police were stopping all vehicles going up there so I didn't want to get a bus or anything it's too kind time consuming so I decided to leave that and come into the town itself and have a look around it's um, it's quite a big place this lots going on here throughout the year big festivals etc and obviously the castle is a big draw for a lot of people so I'll see what I can find today to show you and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy it let's wait and see there's uh, lots of people out today obviously it's a Sunday and uh, people are coming out and relaxing and having coffee and drinks and food of course so that's exactly what's happening today here this bar is very busy the food looks lovely There's some lovely tree-lined roads here and uh, it does give a, a nice feeling for the place and either side of that obviously you've got all the shops and the bars and it's quite busy today there's lots of cars parking is a, a nightmare it really is and um, but once you park you can have a good walk around and and have a good explore so that's not really a problem if you come round the back you'll find all these very small streets um, there is traffic going up and down so when you're walking just uh, be aware of that but um, not that much traffic of course but it's um, like all these places I often say come round the back of these places rather than stick to the main streets because there's always more to see and uh, this is no exception there's plenty to see in the back streets an interesting thing here it's a, a great big stand to hang your hats and scarves and uh, it's enormous it's about 20 foot high obviously a sculpture and uh, it's just right in the middle of, of one of the small streets here you have uh, very small streets like this one there is a car parked here but uh, some very nice three-story buildings obviously people living here of course not sure where they park because that really is an issue coming to Hatava but uh, I'm sure they're used to it by now There's so many of these little streets that um, it gets quite confusing, you know, where exactly you are and also where you park the car. So hopefully I'll find it. Otherwise it'll be lost in Hatava. Otherwise, you can see the dome of the local church here in front of us. So uh, we're going to have a look at that. It's quite a big church, quite a big steeple. A 
It's uh, 11.15 in the morning on a Sunday. This is uh, an interesting building that I've stumbled across and uh, the brickwork is very unusual and uh, it's uh, five stories. And as I say, very unusual. 